Hello, I'm Owen Doherty and we're here at the second Joe Rugby Roadshow in association with Heineken Get in the Game. We're in Reardon's Bar in Cork to discuss round three and four of the Heineken Cup with monster legends, Mr. Jerry Flannery, Marcus Horn and David Wallace. Enjoy the show. Mossy Lawler got in touch with us today. Yeah. And uh, this one was actually for yourself, Marcus. Uh, it was please ask Marcus why he was called Farms. And then there was a hashtag there as well. If Marcus doesn't say that, Jerry will explain. Nolders as well. Um, I suppose he just takes like fat arms. That's what it is. He charred at the farms. Nolders. And Nolders. What was Nolders? No shoulders. No shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was kind of we obvious. used to call him Chandler as well because we all had a skill like Wally was really powerful I was really fit some of the lads <laughs> were really strong some were really skillful and Marcus was mildly funny <laughs> so we called him Mr. Chandler Farms this is from Michael O'Reilly are you looking forward to the new Anchorman film that's coming out and can you do your best Ron Burgundy impression for the crowd <laughs> Audrey that's a no then <laughs> <laughs> no I just, that's just as a name that came to me that's enough, that was brilliant. <laughs> I'm just wondering, all of you, uh, what are your experiences and views on uh, the duration and efficacy of pre-match sex bands? <laughs> You're safe you have enough, to stay away uh, from 39-year-old yeah. men, don't you? <laughs> Do uh, we've never had a sex band in months. Maybe it's because we never got laid enough. But we <laughs> <laughs> what went through your heads every time Marcus got the ball in a match? If you've ever seen a cow sprint, <laughs> kind of like when they have, this is not going to look as good as when Mar Marcus might do it for us, but it's like, you know, when their udders kind of go like this, and he used to do it like that, like, and I think that most of the time the defenders would kind of go for the right udder, and Marcus would go that way. It was always, right, in fairness, one of the best ball carriers I've ever played with, so the sprinting cow, Marcus Horn. <laughs> um, obviously, you have to travel and stuff with your teams and sports, so what was the funniest prank or practical joke you've seen or been involved with on your tours? <laughs> Who's that for first? Um, we'll go with Marcus first, so. Um, I suppose topical at the moment, Rally's book was out at the moment, and uh, when we were in uh, camp in the city west, we just get pretty bored, because on the Wednesdays we, we had a down there, and uh, we, a lot of us just wouldn't travel home on the Wednesday. So the Dublin boys would be gone, the Ulster boys would be gone up the road. So it'd be all the Munster lads in the hotel. So um, one day we just brought the luggage, uh, the luggage cart up to Rala's room, tied him up, gagged him, <laughs> tied him to the trolley and wheeled it into the, the lift and pressed ground floor. And there was a busload of Americans coming in to... Uh, <laughs> to check in and they were all in the lobby and the, the door sprung open and uh, there's a few screams of horror like thinking that uh, this guy was being kidnapped. <laughs> but uh, the porter that was there who was well used to it just glanced over, shrugged and uh, went back to his job and left, just left Rala go back up and down the, the lift <laughs> for the next 20 minutes. So that, that, was, that was pretty comical, you know. Cookie Snowbum. That was a real name. That's a real name. Cookie Snowbum has a tweet for all of you guys. What has been the most ridiculous fine or punishment you have ever received in kangaroo court, and what was it for? There was, there was a, a kind of a rude one, which the lads probably don't know because they didn't get selected for the 2011 World Cup like I did. <laughs> uh, I was selected. I was injured. I was injured. Um, but one... How'd you get on in that? <laughs> Next well, question. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. That concludes our second Joe Rugby Roadshow in association with Heineken Get in the Game. It's been an absolutely cracking night here in Reardon's Bar in Cork. A big thank you to Mr. Declan Welly, myself, Owen Doherty. That's right, I'm thanking myself. And our esteemed panel of Munster legends, Marcus Horn, David Wallace, and Mr. Jerry Flannery. Until next time, folks, good luck. <laughs> <laughs>